Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, last time we talked about basic atomic structure and that protons and neutrons make up the nucleus of an atom and electrons are orbiting the nucleus of the atom. Okay? And from our periodic table lesson, we talked about atomic number and atomic mass. Today, our focus is going to be on what happens when we change the number of the particles in an atom. Okay? Let's look at this uh, drawing up here. This is our old friend, uh, the carbon atom. Okay? And it's color coded for you again. Six protons in the nucleus, represented by green. Six neutrons, also in the nucleus of the atom, represented by red. And six electrons in black, orbiting the atom. Okay? And if you remember from our periodic table lesson, that if you looked at the individual square of an element, okay, the atomic number is equal to the number of protons in the atom. So the atomic number of carbon, because it has six protons, the atomic number will be six. Okay. And at the bottom of that square, the atomic mass, that number that you see on the bottom, that's roughly equal to number of protons plus the number of neutrons. That's what makes up the atomic mass. So what do we have here? We have six protons, we have six neutrons. So you add them together, six plus six, you get 12. Okay. This is a normal carbon atom. But what happens when we change the number of these particles? What happens to the overall atom? Well, if we change the number of protons, obviously this would not be carbon anymore because its atomic number would equal that of nitrogen. All right, so our focus is going to be on what happens when we change the number of neutrons in the nucleus and the number of electrons. Let's start with the number of neutrons first. Okay, I'm going to grab a red marker right here and I'm going to add in two more neutrons to the nucleus. Okay. Now we have six protons in the nucleus, but now we have eight neutrons in the nucleus. What do you think is going to happen to the atomic mass of this element? It's still carbon though, but if we add these numbers together to calculate the atomic mass, six plus eight, we get 14. Okay. We often write this down as the element symbol dash its atomic mass. This particular atom right here, when the atomic mass has been changed due to the number of neutrons increasing, we refer to that as an isotope. This normal carbon atom, now that we added two neutrons to the nucleus, it has now become carbon-14 or an isotope. Okay? So join me next time when we talk about what happens when we change the number of electrons.